Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be a slightly different kind of site tutorial video because normally I go through stage by stage. Last night while I was doing one of my live chats, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I had an idea in the morning and literally 10 minutes before I did like a live chat on YouTube, I went and got some images and I just created this page completely from scratch. Took me about one hour and a half roughly. I was messing around. I changed my mind. And I'm basically going to go through how did I make this. Now, it's not that difficult to create. It's actually really, really simple. I haven't done a mobile responsive mode yet, so I'm only going to show you the desktop. Now, there is a link in the video below. You can see it playing on screen as well. If you really want to see how I built this, please go watch that video, which I know feels a little bit like a cheap skate kind of thing, like I'm asking you to watch that. And here I'm just going to go over it very, very quickly. But that's because I was making up as I went along and it all turned out really, really well. The idea behind this is that this page is basically just text, buttons and some images. OK, you got some icon boxes as well, but it's mainly images. And all of these images are square images, except this one here, which I'll come on to in a moment. But these are all square images and all I've done is used a border radius. And I just want to get that across with how sometimes when we create websites, we get stuck in a rut with image, text, image, text, da, 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 da. And it looks very geometric and sometimes quite boring. You can add a bit of life into a website just by thinking a little differently. And look here, we've got text. I mean, yeah, OK, you could argue there needs to be a bit more padding there or whatever. Or, you know, get over it. But look how you add some little ingenious different way of stylizing the way something looks by just adding in a border radius in fact the border radius is here 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 except for there but let's now go over how this was built this was all done in elemental um everything i've done here you could do in bricks as well so you know don't worry about that. i'm just gonna eh, let me get rid of that for a moment so what do we have really simple there is no header because it's just a fake page i was creating we have a container the container is set to row the reason why I've gone for row is because inside here I have two containers and I want them to sit side by side. If this was the columnar approach, this is what would happen. OK, so that's why we've got the row for the container. Child container one basically is just like row as well. And again, I'll explain why it's row. In fact, let me show you. Look, if I go with container, look at that. The button now sits below. But if I go with row, I've got a big header. I've got another mid header, sub header underneath, and they're quite lengthy in width. And then I got my button and then I have another button. And if you ensure that you go for the wrap functionality, because if you take that off, this happens. In fact, look, this is your column. This is your row. This is your row without the wrap. Add the wrap in and it now starts to look a little bit more beautiful. And the justify content is on the start as well, rather than it kind of, you know, if you put it on end, it starts to go there. Why the words not moving over? Well, that's because they're already full width. There's nothing more for them to move. I know there's a gap here, but actually it is full width. Let's put that back. Well, that was pretty simple, right? We got heading, heading, you stylize it. The buttons, remember what I said about border radius. Well, look, you go down border radius. If I had gone for 25, 25, you would now get the full capsule. But instead, I did that. I mean, I could have done it over here as well. You know, this is where you have a play around and you add a little bit of individuality into widgets that you're using every day. But we get very stuck in the way we build. Oh, it's got to look like that. And it's square, 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 rectangle, rectangle, a bit of a curve. Mix it up. The second container, which is here, is again a row. Because if we'd gone for column, this is what happens. They're all underneath one another. And by setting the width of each of these, I know that, I mean, if I had made these all be like 50 pixels in width, I would have had all four of them in a line. But by making them 200, the third one has to wrap down now. Because if this was smaller, it would fit over here maybe, okay? So I can start to control how things sit in the row. So if all of them were 50, you'd have four in a row, like that, like that, ding, 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 like that, all, all in a line. But making them 200 and 200, there's no way this is going to fit in that space there. Therefore, it wraps onto another line. And all of these images, again, really, really simple. Look at that. We have a border radius. And if I had made it be 200, you'd have a perfect circle. Instead, I've just messed up, mi mixed around. At what point do I apply a radius? And also, I've given it a box shadow. You can just see it a little bit there. If I do that again, 
Can you see there's a bit of a shadow effect appearing? That is a really, really simple and quite a powerful hero banner as well. You haven't got a background image. You just got like a blue color going on there that I've done in the global colors. You just got text, subheader, trying to get across the message of what you're going to get from here. Get exposure, make an impact. Music is evolving. A bit better than, hey, do you love making music? We can help you. Join the spin. Spin that wheel. Hey, DJ, spin that wheel. That's from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles part two, I think. Anyway, um, get found. Maybe this website is going to allow you to submit music or get signed up for a deal or, I don't know, explore other avenues and opportunities. Make your buttons better than just contact us because that is so drop dead boring now. And you have your images. And someone looking at this might think, oh, yeah, you've just created that in Canva, whatever, and all that. No, these are all four separate images. And look, if I go over here to content, look, you're going to see my square images. There they are. Square images, all of them are WebP. In fact, these were 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. They never needed to be that big. I did all the images literally like 10 minutes before I went live. I went, oh, DJ images, duh, 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 duh. got loads of images or whatever, dance images, WebP'd them. 180 kilobytes for 1,000 by 1,000 is still pretty good, all right? There were about 2 meg before I went through the bulk resize photos.com. Right, let's go on to the second section or container. This container, the background is a gradient, okay? So we've got a gradient, we've got black, and we've got that dark bluey color like that. And this is this container is in fact, uh, it's a row as well, it didn't need to be, it could have been a column, because everything is just sat below one another. I've just got a heading, and then over here I've put in a divider line, and I've added in an element to just sit in between the divider line. Uh, if you go over to the uh, style option here where we have the gap, oh no, not the gap, sorry, wrong one, the spacing of the icon, not the gap. Look, this is how it normally looked, but I did that just so it merged into the icon like that. So I've just added in something pretty simple just to break up before we jump into the details. Again, this is dead, dead simple. The third container, well, this is just a, a container with three child containers within. The main container is a row. Okay, so if we've gone for column, this is what we get underneath one another. Remember, flexbox containers in the row, side by side. Each of these, oh, by the way, though, I should also add every container in here was a thousand pixels in width, box width, even over here as well. Because I don't want everything to kind of start stretching out across the width of the screen because I felt like it starts to lose its impact. Um, now, down here, we have a thousand pixels boxed width again. Each of these containers, however, we then added in three child containers. Each of the child containers, okay, is 33.3. So by having a thousand box width, 33.3, 333, you get the idea, okay? We have nice equal spacing. Each of these, they just contain, by the way, I'm not going to go into the margins and paddings and all of that, but there's a bit of padding, obviously, to space things out. I don't want things to be clustered up too close to one another. The icon boxes that we have here just have an icon, a bit of text, and just some lorem ipsum, okay? Um, you can mix and match it however you want, but you know, if you're advertising services, or why is anyone here? I have seen some websites where they put the services bit right near the bottom, and I keep going, no, 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 no. Someone's come to your website, they wanna know what they're gonna get out of you, make it really clear. This is what you're gonna get. Don't make them scroll down, scroll down, scroll down before they get to the detail because that is super drop dead boring. No one's going to like that. The fourth container is in a way almost like a replication of what we have here with this container. But what we've now done is make it massively bigger. So this container, again, it is a row because if it wasn't, if you did columnar, it'd all be start to go funny like that. Um, so we have, uh, sorry, we've got two containers. It's so a container one. This is a row. Um, we then inside of there had two child containers. Child container one has a white background. So if I go to this container and I go to style over here in border, you can see we've applied the border radius. If we had gone like this, it would be a full on circle. Okay, again, I can't stress that enough. And we gave it a white background. And then into there, we added in some text. Um, and we also made sure that the container had uh, quite a bit of padding. Otherwise, it was going to be right. It would creep out 
of the circular border radius thingamajig. Over here in the other container, well, it's almost like a flip, but this time there's no text in there. And this container just contains a background image. It's not an image. The others were images at the top. This is a background image on the container. There's no need to drop an image in there. That's a bit foolish just because there's no nothing else to say. And then again, on the border of that container, we've just, you know, messed around with the border radius values again. Down here, this is really, really simple now. It's like a copy of what we had above. We've changed the gradient. Here we've got a gradient background. Here now we've gone back to the full on bluey color. And we now just have two containers. It's a, uh, the parent container is a row. The child containers have nothing in them except background images for the two containers. Can you see how easy and simple this is? Now, this container contains an image which was purposefully created, if I go to style, to look like that. Uh, can you see the image? In fact, let's just go to edit image so you can see it. It is a horizontal landscape image, and I created it with three images side by side. Because some of you looking at this might go, oh, okay, has he added in three images? Nope. It was created like that as a background, as an image. So when I bring it through, it just sits perfectly like that. It's up to you how you do it. You could do three images, but then you're adding in three separate images. Think about your DOM, your rendering and all of that. But if that's how you intend it to look, just create it to look like that. Uh, this is uh, nothing scientific, really. It's just a container, uh, box width 1,000, 600 in height. Then we dropped in a, a bit of a heading text. You made it have a transparent uh, white uh, color. And then in terms of the advanced, if we go to the motion effect, I then added it in a scale effect to say scale up to go with four. So the idea is, is that as you scroll down, it starts to scale up. Obviously, you're going to adjust all of this for the mobile. Again, what we're doing is really, really simple. Just text and images and, and, and nothing crazily. You know, we're not using any other widgets either, by the way, from another plugin. Here now we have almost in effect a copy of what we had here for the final, well it's not the final container but near near the final. We've added a bit more padding at the top to give some space from the container above. And all we've done is just kind of change the board radius. This is just a background image again. But into here, this container, okay, we've added in some text, subscribe to keep informed. We've added in a contact form, which is just going to contain the email address and then join us. And then look, can you see the buttons and the entry? Again, we've done border radius, which you can do if we go to the form, if you go to style, uh, if you go to field, look, we can do it on the field. And if you go to the button down here, border radius, again, you're continuing the style and the theme of what's been presented. And then below here, we just went and dropped in uh, some social sharing icons as well. You can drop whatever you want in their phone number or anything else. Keeping it really, really simple. But some people are going to look at that and go, oh, okay, how was that done? It's just a container. Background is white, border radius, and then we dropped our stuff inside. And then at the bottom, I've just done a really bog standard footer, really. I mean, this does probably need a bit more spacing out. It's a little bit cramped, to be honest. But, you know, it's just, uh, again, we have, uh, this has got an 812 boxed width container because I wanted to bring things in a bit more. Again, three containers. Um, each of them have a slightly modified width just to bring, just to make sure things didn't look too much to the left or too much to the right. Text and text. Uh, text again over here, you know, and then look, you would obviously put in your uh, hyperlinks and however you want to do it. And then over here, we just dropped in an icon list, putting in whatever you want, and then you'd put in your URL. Um, I know I haven't gone through that in a very scientific way, and I haven't gone through every individual padding value, but your padding does depend on how much you need things to breathe. You know, and I would always say, make sure things breathe. But this is a very, very simple website. I could have added in more animation. So as you scroll, these start to rotate, they fly in. But always have a think about how much animation do you really need on a page? And if it helps to get across the message of why someone needs to be on a page, go for it. By the way, this is a complete fake page I created. 
This is not for a client or anything else. I just had an idea and I thought, why don't we do a video just talking a bit more about this? But if you really want to watch me do this step by step by step by step, go and watch the live chat one. Um, uh, I'm not really talking in it. There's just music playing in the background, um, but you can see what I'm doing. But I do change my mind as I go along. But I hope what I've explained here kind of gets your creative juices flowing and you start to think a bit differently about how you create websites. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share and follow. Let other people know about our channel and I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.